Hello everyone. Welcome back to Design Trend Seeker. Now, if you are new around here, my name is Danielle, and on this channel, we like to take a look at trending DIY project ideas and react to them. So for this first one, it looks like someone might be trying to make their own table. So I'm guessing these are the legs here. They used like a wood base and then decided to stain them. And then at the top of the video, they did show us what they're gonna be using for the top portion. So they're gluing the legs together here. Oh, those came out so cute. And is it just me or does it seem like side tables are like getting smaller and smaller? But these are really nice. You just can't put much on them and obviously you can't store anything in them. They're just nice little like decorative tables. So then we have an Ottoman revamp. So they had like this really bold yellow color. They ripped that off and then went in with some new foam. Now I think that this is a great project to do if you're bored and you're looking for a way to revamp something instead of just throwing it out, you can repurpose it. And if you don't know how to sew, I'm pretty sure they have some ottoman covers on Amazon. You just gotta make sure you get like the right size and everything. But that was a nice little upgrade. That yellow color was definitely my not my kind of like vibe or style. So I like this like terracotta color she went with. And then we have a furniture flip. Yeah, this dresser looks hideous. <laughs> and what is up with these like purple handles. I've never seen anything like this. It kind of looks like bad Halloween. Like, I don't know. Ew. So they had to completely sand this bad boy down. Now this is definitely an advanced project. You have to know how to work with a sander, work with wood probably. I don't know, she might just be staining this though. Let's see what she ends up deciding to do. Looks like she's creating her own paint mixture here with the blow dryer. Mixing different colors together. Hmm, this is really interesting. painted the rest beige and I'm guessing this the fancy little color mix is for the drawers. Oh, so there is the four. Oh yeah, so she did that little nice mix for the drawers and then, wow, I love the gold handles. And the beautiful, like the way she decorated. This is really pretty. A nice play on like a neutral type of theme and style. Very cute. And then here we have another furniture flip here. Oh, they just kind of showed us. Oh, wow. Look at this color scheme. Oh, that is definitely something different. This looks like a fancy furniture piece that you would spend like a thousand dollars. Very pretty and very unique. That's what's nice about these kind of like furniture flips. Like you can create pieces that you don't typically find in stores. They actually look better than most of the furniture pieces that you would buy at the store, honestly. Like this is so beautiful. Oh, we 
have another furniture piece here. So here's the before. This is just like a plain wood. Wow. So they created a texture. This looks like they got this from maybe Ikea. Oh, that looks really wow. I wonder what they used in order to create that texture there. Beautiful blue hue. Once again, another unique piece. Looks like they use some type of wooden balls, maybe like the door. It almost looks like the doorknob handles that you see at like the hardware store. And then they just painted them blue. And what's cool about this is the knobs kind of act as like hardware. So you can just kind of open up the drawers using those knobs. This is really unique. A nice play on that bubble trend too, which is continuing to grow in popularity. We've seen so many bubble projects this year. So here we have someone, they are using some glass blocks. I have no idea what they are making. Well, you know what? This would make for like a really cool table design. Like if you use these as like legs, that would be really interesting. Okay, so we didn't get to see the final project. I'm really curious to what they were making. And then here it looks like someone is making one of those stone style tables. Now, every time I see this particular style being done on TikTok, I'm like, oh, they make it look so easy. And you can make your own high end looking table design. but I have to wonder just how easy it is. If you are going to make this, make sure you let the bottom part dry before putting on the top. This is so cute. Like every time I see this DIY being done, it always comes out perfect. And once again, we have this small side table look without, you know, the storage. But it looks like this person might have used it in like the corner of their living room or something, if I'm not mistaken. Because we have a big vase alongside of that. Wow, this is so pretty. It just gives the home a nice high-end look, this particular stone style. It's just gorgeous. All right, you guys, I hope you did enjoy checking out all of these DIY project ideas with me today. A lot of them were furniture pieces, which is very interesting. So if you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.